hi guys and welcome to the show and today I'm going to be talking about sunglasses and in particular Persol and why I think they are the best. Now I know it's still rather chilly outside and of course it's a long way away from summer but days are getting longer and so you know it's never too early to start wearing sunglasses. Now the reason I'm doing this video is because I recently saw a video done by a friend of mine, Aaron over at Alpha M and he was talking about uh, the Wayfarers, the Ray-Ban Wayfarers and how he thinks that they are the best they, they match all kinds of different face shapes uh, they are iconic and of a decent quality um, and they really match different outfits and they come in a variety of colours and, and blah 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 and the rest of it and I have to say I agree, I think they're great sunglasses anyway however over here at the Ur Urban Gentry um, we really like to, to, to we really like things of a high quality or the highest quality possible. Now, the first thing I want to say, I want to differentiate between quality and luxury, okay? L the term luxury has become synonymous with um, kind of expensive, kind of slightly gaudy, uh, over-the-top things that, that, that are not accessible to the, to the mainstream, away from the, the kind of more traditional definition of luxury that was things of high quality. There are of course a lot of luxury uh, YouTube channels and, and but I'm not about luxury. You guys know I don't give a monkeys about luxury. I mean certainly I do of course buy some luxury items. They happen to be luxury item items but my emphasis is on quality okay and there's no better example of quality and the differences in luxury branding than in sunglasses. And it's one of the, f the very few occurrences, one of the few occasions where I can give you a really good example of something that branding and quality really come into play. And an example of this, I think, a great example is Persol. So let's just do a, a comparison between Persol and Ray-Ban, okay? Now, of course, they're owned by the same parent company. Uh, I think it's called Luxottica which is an Italian-based uh, conglomerate, uh, but that does not mean that they, they are the same. In fact, Persol are made the same way in the same factory um, uh, as they have always been. Whereas Ray-Ban, of course, they're a, a, a lot bigger brand um, and they have outsourced a lot of their production to China. Now, of course, the quality is still high, but if we delve into the manufacturing process, we can just see exactly what the differences are. Let's talk about the image and, and heritage of the brands first. So if we, can, if we look at Persol, for example, they were founded in, in 1917, so at the beginning of the century, and they opened their first store on Rodeo Drive, their first boutique in, in the United States, on Rodeo Drive in Beverly Hills in the 1960s. Um, and they became very much uh, uh, the sunglasses of the kind of uh, of iconic actors such as Cary Grant, Steve McQueen is another iconic wearer of, of Persol, uh, Marcello Mastroianni, you know, of course in, in Italian cinema a lot of the, the film stars wore it. Uh, it has that kind of uh, that 60s chic uh, Hollywood slash Cina Città uh, Fellini, this, these kind of romantic, uh, very iconic peel that, that, that was really born in the 60s. If we compare that to Ray-Ban who were founded in 1937 and they really didn't start having becoming successful until the 1960s. Originally they made aviation sunglasses for the for Air Forces and that's where the development of their um, highly tinted uh, polarised lenses came into effect and that's that's pretty much where they they le were leading in the industry we can see that the brands have you know we can see that Persol uh, which originally were from the Italian Per il Sole shortened to Persol does have a longer heritage uh, another massive difference is that Persol uh, are still handmade in fact if I, if I show you mine Mine's a bit faded, I've had these for about five years now, but it says handmade in Italy. Now these are made out of a special patented cellulose, let me just get this right, cellulose acetate, 
which is highly, uh, which is um, hypoallergenic. A lot of their sunglasses have this little flexible kind of another two little hinges here that allow them to wrap around your face a lot more comfortably and, and they just fit that much better. Um, another thing of course is this iconic hinge that they, that they were the first to develop. They've kept the original Art Deco arrow which you'll see on a lot of personal and that's how you tell it's a, it's a personal sunglasses and I really like that it brings a kind of um, a chic it brings a kind of just a, a touch of sophistication from from that period into modern sunglasses and I and I love it you won't see no you won't see any branding or, or names like these kind of you know those really over-the-top um, gaudy kind of Versace's or Gucci's or whatever they're these are very understated, very low-key. As I'll show you now in this video, uh, courtesy of uh, Persol themselves, the handmade, the, 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 the quality and craftsmanship and the attention to detail, the materials, uh, the fact that it's handmade in the same way um, that, it's, that they always have been, to the same high standards with a lot of like, uh, kind of technologically, even though it's an old, old company, they, they really are using the best materials and the best um, uh, technology available and you really feel, feel it, you know. Whereas Ray-Ban of course, uh, there's a bit of controversy there, they've outsourced to China. Uh, the manufacturing is, is very much uh, mass produced. It hasn't got that level of detail, that refinement, that craftsmanship that you get with Persol. The astonishing thing is, is the price difference. For example, these are currently my, these are the 2427 S's, these are the smaller versions, because I've got quite a small head. So the, the 2427's, which are mine, these retail for $154. You compare that to the Wayfarer's RB2132's that my friend Aaron was talking about, those are made in China. Uh, those are $139, both on Amazon. The odd $20, $30 more, you're getting something that is handmade, that will last you a lifetime. Handmade, it's not mass produced in China. You know, you're really getting a lot more for that $20. Uh, and, these, and the most important thing, I think, that both brands have, um, Ray-Ban certainly have stood the test of time. They have a very classic aesthetic to them. They will always be in style. Some of the more garish colour co coordinations probably not. Um, but they undoubtedly are, will still look good a few years down the line. But Persol I think last even longer. A lot of the designs, even though they've, they've, they've only changed them slightly over the last few decades, uh, they're so iconic, they're so sophisticated, they're so, um, they just reek of quality that I doubt I will ever buy another sunglasses within my lifetime. And if I did, it would probably be to replace these if I've sat on them or bro broken them or, or something like that. You know, I've had these for about four or five years now, I think. And they just suit me down to the ground. I, I have quite a, I have a smaller face, so and I'm quite rounded, even though my, my hair makes my, my, my face seem taller. I've got quite a round face, actually, so square suits me better. Now, if you're looking for a personal alternative to the Wayfarers, I recommend have a look at the, the personal Havanas and the Café. They come in uh, tortoiseshell, black, and they're absolutely stunning. Um, so just have a look on Amazon, you can get them on Amazon. These really will stand the test of time. These will still look good in 40 years, in 30, 40 years. They will still look as suave, as sophisticated. And they will still retain that quality because they're not going to, they're not going to outsource. They're not going to, they're always going to be made by hand because that is the essence of the brand. That's why they're the best. There's nothing better than these. I, you know, I'm going to catch a lot of flack for it, but I'm sorry, there just isn't. So if you're going to buy sunglasses, you know, of course, if you want the way, if you want the Ray-Ban Wayfarers, go for them. But just consider investing another twenty dollars and getting this something like this, which is pure class, handmade, iconic, 
has the heritage, you know, and will be timeless. It will still, they will still be um, as desirable and, and they will still, you know, that's the thing about classic designs. That's why the Speedmaster still looks good now, you know, decades, decades later, just like these. My channel is about quality, not luxury. They happen to be a luxury brand because um, they, they manufacture things to a luxury standard and wasn't a luxury brand, but was, you know, if I'd still buy them because I'm into quality, not luxury. It's a big, big difference. And I, I really want to make that distinction to you guys. So anyway, consider the Persol. Uh, they have my recommendation. Timeless classics, you can't go wrong. Okay guys, I'm gonna wrap it up there. Uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't. And uh, more videos coming three times a week. So that's it from me. Thank you very, very much for watching. And I'll catch you next time. Okay, ciao.